Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So first thing I wanted to say is a big thank you to you for your beautiful response to my last video on being the change in the world. Your responses were so uplifting and inspiring. The love in so many of, of your responses um, was igniting in me, was really uplifting for me and inspiring for me. So I wanted to start by that. I also got a recent um, comment, a recent comment on a video I made, a What I Eat in a Day in Kopangan video. I will leave a link to that video in the description box down below in case you haven't seen it. You can take a look. Um, the comment was really interesting and I replied to it, but I wanted to make a video about it because it showed me that there's a lot of misinformation out there around a fruit-based healthy diet. So basically the person who left the comment said to the effect of, oh, your poor liver, um, that fructose in the fruit you're eating and the high insulin, high fructose is going to cause you to have NAFLD, which is short for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So I wanted to make this video because I appreciate comments that actually uncover or reveal a level of misinformation. And I really, it's really important to me as part of the mission of this channel to help dispel fear and misinformation around healthy diets. So I've had the privilege of working as a medical doctor now for 15 years. My focus is in holistic health. My specialty is internal medicine, and I've had additional training in nutrition education and training in nutrition. So I'm drawing from this experience, from this education, and from my personal experience of eating a fruit-based raw vegan diet now for about eight years. So first thing to say is that eating a lot of fruit in the context of a whole foods plant-based diet is not a cause for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is actually a very common cause of liver disease, especially in the Western world, especially in the States and in, and in Europe. It's so interesting because when you look at the cells of the liver in, I'll just start calling it NAFLD, when you look at the cells under the microscope, it looks like the same kind of disease that you would see in alcoholic liver disease but there's no history or of alcoholic consumption, no history of consuming a lot of alcohol in the person who has this problem. The mechanism for how NAFLD comes about is still a little bit unknown, but what science does really believe, the theories around it are based on two things, insulin resistance and oxidative stress in the body that causes inflammation. And I'll tell you some of the risk factors that I see all the time that lead to NAFLD. Obesity, so being very overweight, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, diabetes. These are the main risk factors for NAFLD. I will tell you that I have had the unfortunate experience of diagnosing several people with NAFLD as a doctor. None of them were eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. None of them were eating a lot of fruit. Now, a lot of them were eating a lot of animal protein. And actually, studies are showing a link with animal protein and an increased risk of NAFLD. In fact, there are studies that show that when you replace animal protein with more plant foods, you significantly reduce your risk of developing NAFLD. I will link those studies in the description box below. So eating a lot of fruit, again, in the context of fiber-rich, whole foods, plant foods, plant-based diet, does not lead to NAFLD. In fact, what fruit does do is help prevent and actually treat issues like metabolic syndrome, obesity, and diabetes. I have had the privilege and opportunity of weaning people off their diabetic medications. They no longer reach the criteria of being diabetic, and I often use eating a lot of fruit to do it. There has been studies that show that eating more fruit, whole fruits, including high glycemic or high um, fructose foods like bananas, 
helps to prevent diabetes. I made a whole video on that and I will leave that link to that video in the description box below as well as links to studies that verify what I'm sharing. Eating lots of fruit especially whole fruit is not the same as taking in lots of fructose. And the reason is fruit is way more than fructose. Fruit is packed with antioxidants, phytonutrients that are incredibly helpful for fighting the oxidative stress that is part of the mechanism of action of producing any FLD. So fruit, whole fruit in its natural form, actually prevents onset of any FLD if you think about that mechanism of action. Fruit would prevent this problem. Fruit is full of antioxidants, it's full of fiber, which will slow down the sugar, and it's full of, in a lot of cases, water. So lots of water, lots of fiber, and lots of antioxidants, which help to fight the inflammation, the oxid oxidative stress, of any FLD. So when you think about insulin resistance, you do not have to worry about that when you're eating whole fruit in abundant forms in a way that feels satiating to you and that feels sufficient enough for you, especially if you're eating fruit in the context of a low fat diet and you're not eating fruit along, along with high fat. So I really wanted to get that, that point across. You don't have to fear fruit. What I recommend doing is, as I always say, eating fruit in its whole form whenever you can, eating it in the context of a healthy plant foods diet, and eating it mindfully so that you know when you're satiated and you don't overeat on anything, fruit or not. So I wanna keep the video short. I hope that was helpful to you and reassuring for those of you who are worried about this. There's nothing to fear. The science backs it up and my experience backs it up. One last thing is I will say that I have had the pleasure of meeting several people who've been eating a fruit-based plant foods diet for many years and are thriving on this. They don't have liver disease, they feel and look great. So long-term eating this way, I haven't seen any evidence of it being a problem. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone who you think could be of benefit to it, including people that you know are suffering with liver disease. Eating, again, a plant foods diet that's high fiber that includes lots of amazing anti-inflammatory fruits, I would definitely recommend and prescribe to them. Subscribe for more videos if it resonates with you, and I send you so much love from Kopangan. Take care.